Wait until I tell Josh that. I'm already getting something right around here. I'll show you guys this abandoned church here. What's up guys thank you for watching franco tv vlogs so this is my first night here at the melbourne manor unfortunately i am heading into a huge ice storm and possible snowstorm i think it's like one to three inches i think where i'm at in melbourne um i might be trapped here for the night depending on how bad things get everything so far seems pretty calm uh there's a lot of water on the roads but all of that i guarantee you is going to turn to ice later tonight this is my ham radio this is for emergency purposes pretty much i use this to kind of monitor the weather and making sure everything is normal while kind of like adventuring in the truck use caution while traveling outside wear appropriate clothing a hat and gloves so that already tells you with the radio how bad is it gonna be um i'm just waiting till things kind of let up while doing this investigation here and uh, I'm hoping I'm able to make it out of here safe, at least within two days, maybe. Two days or maybe one day if all lets up. Then I'm gonna see if I can kind of go a little bit down south. So if you look right here to the right, that's like a little room where it's like a rest area. And that's kind of where I crashed on the sofa. But while doing that, I was hearing something walking through this area here. And I was like, yeah, no, I can't close my eyes and focus while, uh, while you know, doing my videos. I want to show you guys how I survive with some of the equipment that I have. I know I showed you briefly, and a lot of you guys are saying, Frank, I want to see inside your truck. Well, right now, everything's outside my truck, so I'll kind of show you guys what I use, kind of the bucket that I use for the fire, how I cook stuff on the fire, and uh, kind of the things that I eat for emergency purposes when things like this happen. So this is the Melbourne Manor, the mansion I'll be spending the night at. Uh, a lot of the times you could see what looks like spirits or things peering out of the windows. I want to see if you would see it, but I don't really see much. There's antique churches all throughout the town area and at night, this whole place turns into a ghost town. There is not a soul outside. I think that house too is abandoned. In the bottom, there's a basement floor that kind of stretches through the whole house. I don't know what that's for. Oh, that completely scared the crap out of me. That's that thing down there, if you look. What the hell does that mean? Like a tornado? There is like not a soul in the road right now. Hello? I guess just at a certain time an alarm goes off. I'm probably gonna check the weather to see what the hell is that about because that's the first time I've seen that. That scared the hell out of me. Nothing, everything is still peaceful and quiet besides that. I got my rations, my lighter, when I want to light something up, this is like a, something where I put my soup here and I warm it up through here. But usually I put this little metal bars down in here. It works a lot better. And then some, uh, in case I get hurt, disinfectant, chips, laptop, safety. I love this thing. And this is uh, one of my other babies. So this is the Gerber strong arm. This thing is almost an impossible blade to break from what I've seen online, but it's an amazing blade if you're using it right. Look at that. This you could use to cut down branches. You could even cut down logs if you just had like a, you know, you kind of hit the edge of it here. It's bulletproof. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna use it as a plate of armor, but it's good if you need to hunt or whatever if you get yourself stuck in a pickle. 
because usually I'm always getting myself in situations. This is my other favorite tool here, and it is the Leatherman Signal. These piece of tools right here will help you through anything. It'll cut through anything, it'll uh, help you open up a can, fix your car, it even has a wrench set built inside, so that way you could help get yourself out of another situation. And I usually keep it within one of these. And then this, you could even use this indoors, as you can see. And it'll always give you good, accurate fire to help keep your hands warm. And it's pretty much almost infinite. And that's what I love about this. Even right now, I could feel the heat getting super hot, maybe because I'm over a hot fire. But five or 10 minutes, the whole room will start to feel a lot warmer because that's just how much heat this little paint bucket of steel produces. That's one of my favorite things. It'll cook one of these within, what, maybe three minutes? It's already boiling and safe for good to eat. This is more or less my new mod that I use for my camera here. So I'm always holding it with a stick because the more weight you kind of have in the bottom, the more stable the image is so you're not just wiggling all over the place. Another big shout out here for Chaj because he actually gave me this chicken foot stand. You kind of put it right in the bottom here and it has a ball joint so you could always be recording and you can put the camera down, record yourself, and you don't have to be walking around with a full blown tripod. That's something you can more or less just take with you. Now I don't know if you guys remember this thing. I don't know if I really talked about it too much on this channel. But this thing, since I found it, I found it in the middle of Utah in some church. And I ended up taking it with me and it's just caused me a bunch of misfortune with the truck breaking down, hitting a deer, and a whole bunch of other things that are kind of personal. But this has been very, very rough and a pain in the butt to take with me. So I am leaving this here with Josh in his museum that's at his location. However, something else that I noticed is that this on the top glows under UV light. I was just kind of walking around the house trying to kill time. And check this out. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my light. Look at this. Wait until I tell Josh that. This whole thing just glows completely with UV light. Looks like there's a coating or powder all around it. I don't even want to make this a paranormal video. This That would be for my other channel. But I literally just heard what sound like something moving around. Kind of stepping on something. You can hear the floors kind of cracking. You know what? Just out of curiosity, I want to see how this looks like under UV light. All right, turning off my light. Turning on UV light. Oh. You see a whole bunch of dots on the wall. Looks like spores. Look at this. Looks like something was sprayed up here. This is Josh's new SLS camera. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? Apparently this thing has a 3D gyroscoping everything. I don't even know what that is, but look at that. I'm already getting something right around here. So wherever I point this thing to, show me the whole room as I'm walking around through here. All right, just made it to the gas station now. I am gonna be leaving the truck on. Just dropping freezing rain everywhere. Let's see if I can grab myself some drinks and fill up on gas. So right now it's getting later at night. It's dark, everything is frozen, and this is pretty much how it looks like. If you look really close, you can see the bubbles coming out. You see it? That means it's boiling and it's doing its job. I'm supposed to be using that thing, but I realize this works better, especially if I use the metal stuff there. See? I got a better boil for my buck. So pretty much, I'm just gonna eat it from the can. I mean, it's boiled, it's sterile, it's good, and it's ready. 
And then usually I take out the metal hot parts in the inside with the limons. The limons take care of that pretty good. Got a pretty bad burnt spot right there. That's a second degree burn. But um, it just filled up. So it's like a kind of like, you know, there's water on the inside curing the skin on the inside. But that's just dead skin on the outside. Let it go back to normal. All right, so now I took the can out. And this is pretty much what I do because these things are really, really hot. Take one at a time. Uh, I guess I'll put it right here. Take the other one. You don't want to put it in water because it'll warp. Once that warps, it's going to be all bent. Kind of like what I did to that one by accident. Then you top it off. That'll do it. Just made it out to the town of Silent Hill. Since this place looks so abandoned. And literally not a soul in sight. It's like after a certain time, everyone just up and leaves this whole town all by itself. It's a little Pepsi. CNM Cafe sign. It is getting a bit colder. Something else that's a little bit more interesting is as you keep walking, see this house there in front of me that I'm pointing at? I'm gonna turn on my big light. But this too is like abandoned. There's nobody that lives in there. It's just vacant. I think I'm gonna show you guys this abandoned church here. Holy crap, it's cold. Let's see if I could call it until tomorrow. This is the church. It's kind of just out here in the middle of all this. It's called the Art Church. Look at this place. I think it's so cold that my battery to my camera is about to die. So I'm gonna finish this up here. head back because my camera's literally about to die. Thank you guys for watching Franco Travels. I hope you guys liked what you've seen. This is the creepy Silent Hill town in which I'm residing in right now, where Melvin Manor is literally situated. This place is amazing. I wasn't expecting the alarm to go off. I will be doing my first night here, doing my kind of other channel paranormal experience. Hopefully it all goes out well. I'm freezing. Every now and then I do hear noises coming throughout the house. Can't tell if the house is settling. Or maybe it's something more. That being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye, guys.